Please, please, please work. Please work. Oh my god, it's going the wrong way. The time now is seven minutes past three. We've had two hours sleep. Let's see if we can get some more. The time now is 13 minutes past seven. So we did manage to get a few hours in. I'll tell you that. I'm actually quite surprised because I thought someone had definitely wake me up. But as you can see, there's still nobody in here. And even though I only had, what, about six hours sleep max, if you just said that last night, I'd have taken that. So plan for today. What do I want to do? I could completely have a spa day and just chill out. But then the other part of me wants to get going, like back into Dubai by the Burj Khalifa. Obviously, the problem I've got is I'm on the palm and the palm's like in the sea. So nowhere is walking distance. So I have to find some sort of transportation to get out of here. Maybe the big bus is gonna come in handy again, I don't know, but I'm gonna have to find some way to get off here. But for now, let's go and check the pool or the spa. Right, where is it? I'm gonna ask you. Do you know where the spa is at all? Spa? Yeah, the spa. Yeah, right next Ah, just down here, yeah. thank you very much. Spa, this looks nice. What does the spa consist of at all? Is there like a place to chill out or sauna, steam room? Uh, yes, we do have a facility, some like steam, sauna and... Ah, okay. Can I use them now? Or? Uh, we'll check for your room number, sir. Ah, okay, no problem. Until 10 p.m. 10 in the morning till 10 p.m. Ah, okay, I'll come back later. All yeah. right. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Yep, first question she asked, what's your room number? I ain't risking sneaking in there, not a chance. Right, I'm going to go and check the pool out instead. How nice is this? Pool there, overlooking the palm. Atlantis up there. I'll have a bit of this, definitely. I tell you what, I could get used to this, but this is me for this morning. But check out how beautiful this place is. I could have stayed on that deck chair and gone in the pool all day today, but then I realized I need to get off this palm somehow. And by somehow, I obviously mean that big bus tour that I sneaked on the first day. If I can sneak back on that here, that'd be awesome. Oh my God, look what I've come across. It's the licorice shop from the first day. Excuse me, yeah, is it possible to have yeah. a licorice? Thank you. Licorice. Can I try the salty caramel? I don't think I've ever had one of these before. That one is Thank you. That's uh, the raspberry one. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Give it a try. Thank you very much. Thanks so much for your help. Anyway, have a nice day. See you later. We love licorice now. We love it. Right, so I've just come out of the entrance and I've clocked. I don't know if you can see that in the back, but that is the big bus over there. So at least I know definitely now where they're picking people up there. I just need to suss out how I can get on it. One idea I've got, the battered map in my bag from the other day. So I'm gonna get that out, potentially pretend it's a ticket. Right, this is the map. It's definitely had a bit of a battering in my bag, but fingers crossed this should work. Right, this is us now. The bus is just pulling in. Fingers crossed, come on. Right, please let this work. Can I see your tickets here? Does the yep. next one come at 1.30? Sorry? Next one comes at 1.30? Yeah. Okay. Should be in there. No. Oh, where's my ticket? It's not here. Oh, you are joking. I've not dropped it. I need to get back to the marina. No, because it's not here. Because it should be stapled. But there's nothing stapled. Well, yeah, it would have been by there, wouldn't it? Nothing. How did you pay the ticket? A receipt ticket? I paid with my card. Am I okay to get on this to the marina? I'm sorry, no. Because last ticket lost, right? Because no it's the policy. <laughs> okay, yeah. no problem. I have well and truly burned that method. Unless that woman stops working, I can't try that again because she'll just recognise me. I need to come up with another way. Do the Atlantis do a shuttle to the marina at all? Uh, no, we don't have that shuttle. There's no like shuttles to anywhere from here. Just taxis, is it? Ah, okay, no problem. Thank you very much. Well, there's no hotel shows. I'm absolutely knackered now. I think I'm just going to have to walk. Walking in this heat is going to be a nightmare. Check out this aquarium. This aquarium's actually in the hotel. It's massive. It is some hotel list, but let's get out of here. 
what a massive load of bollocks and just to rub it in they're driving past me I'm just looking at the map right I should have got on at stop 25 at the Atlantis the next stop is 26 so basically if I walk to 26 I can try and get on there the only problem is 26 is right at the start of the palm but I haven't got a choice I'm just gonna have to do it let's see how long this takes me the time now is 136 so let's see You are joking. I didn't realize it goes under the water. It ends here. I don't know if you can walk underneath the bridge. Oh, you can't walk. Can I walk on that side? Should I go that side or this side? This side. Thank you. So that guy's just said that I can walk, even though there's a sign that says no walking. This is not ideal, let me tell you. They're doing it to just rub it in now. Another one. The end is now in sight. And I am officially out of the tunnel, thank God for that. I just need to walk another 10 miles to the end now. Finally, I am just crossing the bridge from the Palm back into Dubai, literally over the water now. The time is four minutes past three in the afternoon, so it's taken me what? One hour and 28 minutes to do that walk. I am proper sweating and my forehead's definitely a bit tender, but I couldn't find the bus stop for the big bus tour, which was at the start of this bridge. So I've just walked over it. There's another big bus tour stop just down there on the right. So I'm gonna walk to that and we'll see where we go from there. I tell you what, I am absolutely cured with this big bus thing. Excuse me, mate, do you know where the big bus picks up? Big bus? You know the big, it picks up over there. Okay, cheers, thank you. It's a good job I didn't pay for it because if I did, I'd be going mad. I've literally, from the palm, walked along on every single stop it says it picks up and there's not been anything to pick you up there from it's just been like a main road so I've ended up walking what I walked along the palm again back to the beach and now this is like the main pickup point at the beach so fingers crossed I can get on here or <laughs> I'm running out of options here the big bus was sound in San Francisco but in Dubai I don't recommend it unless you're getting off of the main stops right I'm here now this is like the stop off point there's an employee there which is not great I'm gonna try and sneak on the next on the comes. I've been trying to get on the stops along the way from the palm and it doesn't pick up. The stop there's a, at least the palm, stop number 25. Yeah, I know, but you know, like 26 and 24, 23, 22, there's nowhere to pick you up. Bus stops here, but the same stop with the public bus. There is no sign like big bus, bus up now. You will catch oh, the bus now. Yeah, I'll get you the next one. You have to go one. now straight, round about there. So it's not even picking up no. right here. <laughs> okay, where Ocean about? View Hotel. Outside the Ocean View Hotel. Yes. Thank you very much, mate. Have a good day. This is a disaster, this, because every Everywhere the map says it picks up from, it doesn't, it picks up somewhere different. Talk of the devil, there's one there. Right, here it's coming now. I think I just stand here. Please, please, please work. Please work. Oh my God, it's going the wrong way. I am getting on this bus. I am getting on this bus. You for the bus too? Yeah. How have you found it? I've no idea. <laughs> I think you found us. Yeah. <laughs> please work. Please. Cheers, thank you. The map work. Get in. We always get there in the end. Right plan now. This route goes to the Mall of Emirates, the second mall I went to on day one. So then I've got to swap there, get on another one of these to go to the Burj Khalifa. So I've still got one more bus to sneak on to get back to the Burj Khalifa. So fingers crossed. Next stop, Mall of Emirates. Atlantis now. If that woman sees me, she's obviously going to ask for my ticket and then I'm going to be stuck on the palm again. She cannot see me. Does this look familiar? Right, here we go, we're here. Wish me luck, I hope this goes smooth. It's turning in now. Right, he's just stopping now. She's there. Oh my god, I am. So there's people getting on it, it's not it, so, so far so good. There's people just sat next to me. 
I'm still ducking. This is bad. You can hear her shouting. Oh, I just want him to go. I just want him to get gone. Right, this is us at the Mall of Emirates. Right, when's the next bus to Burj Khalifa? Uh, 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes. the last bus. Ah, okay, thanks very much. I asked the driver when's the next bus to the Burj Khalifa, and he said 10 to 15 minutes, but it's the last bus. There's no room for error. We have to get on this bus too. Here we go, here's the last bus now. Let's do it. Nobody was showing a ticket then, so I don't know if it's because it's the last bus, but that was the easiest one yet. Happy days, we're moving. We have done it. Burj Khalifa next stop. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Get in another successful challenge, and we've ended where we started in front of the Burj Khalifa. That is some tower. That. So, what are my thoughts on Dubai? I'll start with the challenge first. I think it's been a great challenge. Love Dubai. Met some great people. Done some wicked things. And I think the challenge has been great. But obviously, there's a lot more I could have done. But for three days, I've ram packed a lot in just to show some perspective as well on how much I've actually walked. Day one, I did 16 miles. Day two, I did 15. And obviously, I've not even finished today yet so yeah I haven't really stopped with this one to be honest and I'd say I've been good with like holding back the sneaking in obviously I've done a few but not too bad if it was in the UK I would be sneaking up that a hundred percent my thoughts on Dubai I love the place every time I come to Dubai I like it more and more the people are great the weather's great I haven't really got anything bad to say apart from do not come here in the summer it's too hot because you're outside it's dead hot then you go into a hotel and it's freezing with aircon and you just end up having headaches it's just horrible and I experienced that five years ago and I've spoke to other people who have as well and they say the same thing so yeah don't do it in the summer this week it's been late 20s like 30 tops and it's been hot like my forehead's pink quarter tan and it's not been too hot it's just been nice and that's in January so yeah you can imagine what August would be like I haven't got anything else to add really I highly recommend it and if anybody's ever been thinking about coming here on holiday if you decide to come I don't think you'll regret it so that's it thank you so much for all all the support and all the messages it really means a lot and I'm sorry with this one I've not done an Instagram live or done a Q&A or anything like that on the next challenge we will hundred percent by the time this video is out actually I will have put on Instagram and Twitter where my next destination is so if you haven't got me on Instagram and Twitter it's at Simon J Wills if you're in the town drop me a message and maybe we can catch up next week's destination it's pretty sick. I've never been there before in my life, so it's gonna be an interesting one. If you've not subscribed, make sure you do and hit the notification bell. And if you could drop a like and a comment on this video, it'd mean more than you know. Let me know what you thought of the challenge. I'm always reading the comments. Thank you so much. Have a great week, and I will see you at Monday, 8 p.m. next week. I'm gonna leave you with the Dubai Fountain Show. Have a good one. I've just realized on my way to see this fountain show, I haven't even eaten anything today. All I've had is those few licorice. I am starving. Anyway, I just thought I'd add that because I didn't even realize myself. Enjoy the fountains.